Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takagi san season 3 episode number 9 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, as always, Nishikata again, like you know, with one of his <laughs> things, he <coughs> took Takagi to a <coughs> place where like you have to go like up a few steps, and he thought like, oh, I'm going to like you know <coughs> ask Takagi how many steps this is. He wouldn't know, but the place was actually a famous place. And it had like a legend where if two like you know <coughs> person goes up <coughs> they're going to start dating or something like that and <coughs> so <coughs> nishikata did not know that and takagi as always like you know kind of teases him about it and everything and it was like a fun little section and then we actually see all the different characters going up the same place uh you know like uh first we saw those two um <coughs> that girl and the girl and the guy who was like you know in the in the maid cafe that that i, I don't remember any of their names uh then <clears throat> mano and the uh, the guy <clears throat> then uh the three friends you know like they kind of go and with the, we kind of see both all their like you know experiences with the thing <laughs> the friends were just like you know they didn't even know about the fact that this is supposed to be some kind of a legend or something they just came here to exercise <laughs> it was fun to see and later on we get to see how nishikata got to know he got it uh got to know that from his friend uh mano's uh you know like the the guy mano likes and <clears throat> all that stuff so you know nishikata did not realize that and that's why he <laughs> without any research took uh, takagi here that was the first section the next part is like the whole movie section where they go to like a dvd corner and to buy new dvds uh, rent new dvds but <clears throat> they get to know that uh, the manga 100 percent unrequited love or something like that is getting a movie and if you know, couples go there they're going to get like a special gift or something and nishikata obviously he, he could not tell that to takagi and takagi was also kind of you know trying to tell it but wasn't able to so he kind of did a thing she actually <laughs> Use the DVDs which he recommended to Nishigata later on to kind of indirectly tell him that let's go together. Like that was that was <laughs> that was insane <laughs> the way she kind of calculated that. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing this episode will be something like that, like them going to the movies or something. So let's see what happens. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number nine of Teasing Master Tai San season three. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Thank you to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. <clears throat> okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's Christmas. Okay. <clears throat> Is this Nishikata's dream? I feel like this is Nishikata's dream. Oh my god, this is Nishikata's dream. <laughs> oh my god, weird. Oh lord. Oh my god, even in his dream, he's just. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like even in his dream, he's going to lose. <clears throat> Oh my. <laughs> what do you call this? Like lucid dream? I think you call this where you actually realize like it's a dream. Oh my god, what a weird dream this is starting to be. He just fell from the bed. Wow. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why, like, I, like you know, I've seen a few people talk about, like, you know, them falling from the bed while sleeping. I find it really un unusual because I never, <laughs> it never happened to me. And I've seen a few people actually say, like, oh, I fell from the bed while sleeping. I'm like, damn, like, how much do you move while you sleep? <laughs> So yeah, and especially like, you know, when people are children, I'm guessing they're kind of a little bit more restless. So 
they might fall from the bed but i never did so i don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> oh All right, let's see what happens. What the? Oh, yo, this is the, the, the main poster of the show, you know, like the thing. Wait. Oh my god, okay, so is this is a gift. Wait, just a second, where are the parents? Like, are you even, how old are they? My god, at their age, okay, you know what? These people are just too advanced, I think. Like, at this age, I was probably in my house just playing video games. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh my god, this is... They're going to the movie on a... Oh. Damn, this is some high-level stuff. Like, look at this. Like, everyone has their parents with them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's what's bothering him. <laughs> you wish. No, I doubt that's going to happen. But we'll see. What? What is... This is like a like, did they like claw machine? Oh, so the movie theater is here. Okay. Like okay, that makes sense, but wild be <laughs> okay. Mm, yep. <clears throat> what? Oh, damn. <laughs> Wait, is she, I, I think he he's the one who recommended it to him, her, didn't he? All right, let's see. Junko and Ikeo. You, oh my god, the names. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Claw machines are hard, I've heard of it. They're very difficult. Oh. <laughs> You're just gonna nudge it a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, come on. It, it won't work like that. You have to nudge it I, as far as I... Okay, it worked. Oh, damn. That's why I've, I've heard of it. You need to go in and nudge it a little bit. Especially when it's close to the... You know, this is impossible. How, how much talented do you have to become to get this good? <laughs> Betrayed my truth. I <laughs> lost to myself. <laughs> there you go well you're a bigger fan oh no oh my god <coughs> um Um. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, you lost again. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. Like, what do they do? Or how do they even? Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, there are a lot of ways. Um... And you know what? Yeah, both of them are right, in a way. <laughs> um... What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's awkward. Uh -huh. Damn, they have like a lot of promotion. <laughs> they can... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Special gift. Yeah. Huh. Wait, what is that? Ah. Oh, okay, the Christmas card, all right. Oh my God, oh, there you, there you should. Yep. Oh no, maybe. Oh my god, I feel like they might meet some people here from the school. Or, or maybe not. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what are you doing with them? <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. Oh, oh, wow, this is quite. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Damn, this is some huge development happening in this episode. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the? <laughs> wow, <laughs> the cliches. <laughs> uh. Ah, what? Wait, <laughs> Sandra's not there in the picture. What? You just said you're going to. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> you know what? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that, that statement. But. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god, yo! Ria Takas. I was thinking they probably had the same voice actress and voice actor, the uh, the two characters. <laughs> it's crying. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> um, I doubt that. Contest. Hmm. Oh. Okay. She's a. F I think. This oh. Oh, oh, I think he, she wanted him to win. He probably has some other plans. She, she wanted him to win. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> no. This is going all according to her plan. All according to Keikaku. Keikaku means plan. <laughs> I think she deliberately got it wrong. She deliberately got it wrong.
Yeah, you're just. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <This is. laughs> oh, she's acting like the girl in the movie. Oh my god, it took me so long to understand what she's trying to do. Oh my god. She's trying to act like, I think, what's her name? Kyunko or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yep, he's trying to do that. <laughs> he's like, what the hell? Are you sick? What's happening? Um, there you go. She's like, ah, you didn't lose. I... <laughs> oh my god. So there you go, you did not win. <laughs> Illusion. Just to gauge your reactions. Just testing. <laughs> but, you know, Nishikata was not comfortable with that. You know, so it shows that he is comfortable with Takagi's original personality. Oh, the thing that... Oh my god, no, don't do that. Oh my god. Oh, wow, the lighting up. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, the timing! Oh! Alright, oh, it's snowing, okay. Oh, yeah, he has to hand it over. Merry Christmas. Oh, she, he also prepared a gift. That's nice. <laughs> hmm. What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, she always does that. <laughs> yep, she also prepared one. <laughs> wow, damn. Good development this episode. <laughs> Is that a muffler? No. Muffler? Oh yeah, there you go, the muffler. Oh, she's wearing it. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, she doesn't need to do that anymore. I'm actually really surprised that parents let them go alone. Like... Uh. Oh. What is that? Send a Christmas card to... Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So that's what he saw and that's why he... 
Oh no, he did not give the. Did he? Did he give the card to her? I I don't remember. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Who is running? A new ending. Another new ending. Okay, there you go. There's the let uh, the thing, the card. I was like, uh, did he hand it over? Thanks for everything today from Nishikata. Oh, the, she, he also got a letter. Dear Nishkata, thanks for another fun year from Tahari. Oh, that's the end. Wow. Okay, that was really good. Wow, this again, this, this episode felt like a season finale or something, but we still have some more episodes left. This is episode 9. So, three, two or three more episodes, I think. And now, obviously, since we got a Christmas episode this uh, week, I'm sure we're going to get a New Year episode probably in the next week or the week after that. So that'll be interesting. Maybe they're going to go to the shrine or something, you know, as they kind of do, uh, like, you know, to pay, uh, like, you know, to pray and pay respects and everything. Uh, I, th I think they call it Hatsumode. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're going to do that in the next episode we'll see um so <clears throat> okay now this episode it begins with a dream where nishikata is just dreaming like how he gives him <laughs> a frog a jack in the brock box with a frog <laughs> and she's dressed up as santa oh my god and even in his dream he was unsuccessful in you know beating her but yeah okay so now here's the thing they so the the yacht i think yeah i think that's the yacht so i'm guessing all the people who wanted to go to the um movie i'm guessing this this boat or yacht was what is that is that a yeah it's kind of like a yacht and then it, it was hired for them i'm guessing like the the movie you know the people they probably arranged this to for them i'm guessing that's what happened so now here's the thing i don't like i feel like that they're, they're, they're supposed to be like 14 or 15 uh, 15 there you go 14 14 years age how are they like you know like i don't i don't think we've even seen their seen their parents ever before like how like this really confused me i'm like i never really thought that this could happen like they would have even allow them to go alone you know and <clears throat> like <laughs> as i said like you know at this age i was just in my room playing video games on in christmas and you know, not had nothing to do <laughs> and just look at them i'm like damn what's happening like this generation is like you know just moving like advancing in like a tremendous space like if this is what happens like i'm shocked and like i feel like even in the yacht like you know in the boat like there was no person their age like everyone had like either their parents or like an elder person with them and they're just you know like not even bothered just going on a trip like wow i i really was not expecting them i i yeah that was that was really surprising but okay so yeah now they <clears throat> they take the yacht or boat whatever i don't know um and 
okay the reach i think the place yeah the place like where the, the movie hall theater was and nishikata's like okay this year is almost over and i have to do something i need to actually defeat her otherwise this will be a sad year you know i never won <laughs> so he's thinking of plans to do stuff and uh, takagi is like oh i like you know why don't we do the claw machine because you know like this the the, the new merch is here or, <clears throat> or goods like you know the anime goods so here nishikata is like all right i'm gonna win here and we're going to make this a competition and let's see <laughs> now here's the thing i know very well claw machines are insanely hard you know like it, it never works either the claw in itself is very weak it, it's either unable to like you know support the weight of the things that is in there either that and it's really kind of very difficult to kind of make an estimation of where the thing is to actually like it's like in 3d you know like like you have to like you know get to get a very good estimation of where the thing is and where your claw is and these things cost money so you know like not only you are trying this if you fail it's actually like you know you you, you always get the what do you call it like as, as soon as you fail you always get a thing like you know within your <laughs> it hurts like you know like the money is actually just being wasted and so that's mean that means you can't even practice here you know, like you, you just need to <clears throat> put money and if it works it all's well and good if it doesn't you just lose the money and it's a weird thing so i was like okay now i've seen like you know people say that uh like the, the thing that nishikata like you know tried to get the puzzle was kind of at the edge and i've seen people saying like during these type of things what you do is actually don't try to grab the thing but you try to nudge the thing into the like you know the bo the, the the empty space so that it falls down since it was on its edge you actually get the claw very close to the thing kind of go down and open the claw so that the thing gets pushed into the hole that's how you, I, I've, I've heard people do this as a trick to get stuff usually like you know grabbing it directly doesn't work most of the time that's why they kind of do it like that i've seen a few people do that so I thought Nishikata was going to do that, but he tries to grab the thing. That was a heavy thing, and obviously it fell down. And while I don't know what the hell Takagi did, like you know, he, he just grabbed it in one chance. That's impossible and insane. You, know, you you need to be extremely talented to do that. I don't know how she did that, but <laughs> she did it apparently. <laughs> and she grabbed the dolls and just in one turn. I'm like, wow. Like, this girl is too multi-talented. You can't beat her. It's impossible. <laughs> She's too powerful. <laughs> and poor Nishikata is just an ordinary kid. How, what can he do, you know, in, in face of this immense power? <laughs> but yeah, okay. Now Taragi just sees, like, Nishikata is extremely bummed out. And he, like, you know, he had the thing with where he was kind of looking at the plushies. So Takagi is like, here you go you can have it <clears throat> and uh, yeah he's he's happy to get that and then they kind of go like you know take the escalator and everything try to go go to the uh, ticket thing counter and here <laughs> Tagagi is talking about how like you know couples are here like what happens i do wonder what happens if like, you know, they figure out that you're not a couple i guess like they can't do anything at that point you know like like what can they even do like they can't just make you leave so like the whole the actual thing is like yeah you get in that's it and then like you know no one can do anything so and this is obviously done for like you know what this is done for promotion and you know like so to get a maximum people in here and then, you know like whenever like usually people go alone or with their friends but this is like whole thing with couples so usually two people are definitely going to come so that kind of, I guess, like, you know, kind of makes um, it more profitable for them. So as soon as, like, you know, like, like they don't care if you bring your friend or whoever. The whole thing with a couple is just a business or advertisement strategy, I guess. So I guess as soon, like, you know, even if they figure out that, yeah, you're not couples, they don't care. They're like, yeah, go ahead. Like, why should I care? 
<laughs> like their main goal is to like you know sell as much ticket as they can and you can bring whatever whoever you want to so like you know the, it, it probably doesn't matter by the end of it so <laughs> yeah something like that i'm guessing and <clears throat> okay so they uh, yeah they get up and nishikata's like oh i i'm 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 too strong now you know like a couple and these type of words actually don't bother me now i'm too strong i'm going to defeat nishikata here uh, not nishikata sorry takagi here so nishikata just is like you know talking about oh like you know he's just you know like talking about couples and stuff and he's like what did he say here um oh yeah he's like oh i don't get flustered with that word so he he just goes in there and he's like <laughs> Like what did he say? It just kind of miss said. He said tickets for the Nishkata couple. No <laughs> tickets for the Nishkata couple. Um, you know what this? <laughs> it actually <laughs> the way he said that. It it is actually implying that they're married or something. He's saying like for the Nishkata couple. Nishikata is his last name. And <laughs> Oh my god. And he's like, "Oh my god, what the hell did I do?" No, I just <laughs> And then the, the receptionist is like, "Oh, you you should go there to take like, you know, the thing." And he's like, "Oh my god, it's awkward. Just goes there." <laughs> and then they buy popcorn and the popcorn comes with a love letter, I think, something like that. Yeah. And okay, they get in and they sit down and there's like a moment between them, you know, like the whole thing of um Oh no, no, here they open the the thing. Oh no, before this he actually goes to the toilet break and like you know kind of writes the thing that he was supposed to write in the card and comes back and sits beside Takagi and opens the gift and that gift was kind of cute, you know, like they um it's like a two little figurines you can sense kind of they kind of attach together and i'm guessing obviously this is aimed at couples because you know like this like two part of like a one thing so usually like you know like couples like you know they kind of either keep it like you know in their place so yeah that's why like you know like like two part so yeah and nishkata got i think Chunko that was the, her name and um Takagi got Ikeo. I think that was the name of the guy. <laughs> oh boy. Their names are interesting, you know. Like the girl's name is Kyunko. Kyun means uh, the whole beating of the heart. Like it's like a way to, like, you know, the, like, you know, the a cute way to actually say, like, you know, how your heart is beating or something. Like, like Kyun Kyun, as they say. That Kyunko, I think that's what her name means. And Ikeo means, as far as I know, Ike. Ike means handsome or something like a, like say they say Ike men. Ike means means handsome as far as I know, uh, and that's why I guess his name is Ike O, which means probably he's a handsome guy or something like that. So, <laughs> so she's a girl whose heart beats I guess like you know whenever he says he's Ikeo, and Ikeo is the handsome guy or something like that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why the hell the name of the manga is hundred percent unrequited love. It doesn't seem like that while I was watching the movie, but <laughs> I don't know, weird titles. <laughs> oh. But okay, now they see the movie and it, it was like, you know, as always, like as, as shoujo mangas actually do, like, you know, it's like a girl who's just a like, clumsy, ditzy, that type of a character. And while the guy is just extremely handsome and just, you know, just cool, so cool. And like you know, the words and like like the the things that he says are just like makes everyone just you know like just swoon over that type of a character. I've read my fair share of shoujo mangas, and maximum of them it is kind of like that. There are exceptions, however, there are a few shoujo mangas that I really love, which kind of like you know goes against that whole formula, and it's interesting. But usually, I I don't read shoujo mangas. That's the reason why you know like it's there's too much drama. And this, like, just these type of things. Like, that's why I usually don't go towards shoujo manga. 
or shoujo anime but as i said there are exceptions to everything there are a few shoujo mangas and animes that i really adore for example i just love uh like i think like the best shoujo manga and the anime i saw was uh, kaichi wa made sama I, I think that's one of my favorites um the characters are such a joy to like you know like follow around like uh I forgot their name. I think Misato was the girl's name or something like that. Something like that I forgot. And the guy was something. I forgot their names. Um, then there's Ore Monogatari as well. That's another shoujo that I kind of liked. These things. Anyways, um, I'm kind of going on a different topic. Uh, so yeah, they see the movie and it ends. And okay, now here I kind of like, you know, suspected that... <clears throat> The different characters would have the same voice actors, actors and actresses as Nishikata and So in the end, like in the cast section, they kind of show us like Yunko is voiced by Rie Takahashi, who is Nishikata's uh, Takahashi's voice actress. And Ikeo is voiced by Yuki Kaji. I think he's the voice actor of Nishikata. I'm not so sure. Probably. And I'm guessing all the other different characters, voice actor and voice actresses are probably the same characters like, you know, that we see. Uh, same cast. <laughs> that was interesting. I didn't think that they were going to show the names like that. But yeah, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um okay now obviously they can like Nishikata's just crying his eyes out and everything. And okay, now here they come out and here Takagi asks Nishikata a question. He's like she's like, Oh, do you prefer girls like her? You know, like who's just clumsy, dizzy, that type of a character? And he kind of avoids that, doesn't say anything. And <laughs> then Takagi acts, asks, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, starts acting like that. Now, I, it took a while for me to actually understand what she was trying to do. At first, I thought maybe she's letting him win because he never won this whole year. So he, she's kind of doing that. And, like the whole thing with him, her bringing up the race and like, you know, losing at it and acting like that. Like, oh, I lost. Oh, so sad. <laughs> that type of a thing. And now, at first I thought that, and then by the end of it, I'm like, oh, so she's actually trying to act like Yunko, like the way she was doing it. And like Nishikata by the end of it was actually kind of, I feel like he was surprised. He was like, what's happening here? Like, you know, and he, he actually did not get like that scene. Like, you know, when Takagi was acting like that, he actually did not get flustered, but usually he always gets flustered around Takagi. So that's interesting to like, you know, kind of, uh, note that so it kind of shows that Nishikata actually prefers Takagi's original personality than that type of a personality of like you know that clumsy ditzy thing that um, uh, Kyunko did in the movie so that kind of shows that and <laughs> he's like what's happening he's kind of like you know confused and all and like at, the, at first he was very like you know just hyped up he's like oh I'm winning like look at me like I'm, I'm too powerful but then when he realizes that Takagi was actually doing that just to imitate Kyunko, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> so this also was part of the plan. And I didn't win. I actually lost. You can say that. And uh, yeah, now Takagi kind of says like, uh, where is that part? She's like, where is it? Um, oh, there you go. I, I wanted you to think I was cute, Nishikata. Now, as I said again, like, you know, the, I feel like Takagi, uh, Nishikata was more comfortable with Takagi's original personality, not the way she was acting at that moment. So, yeah, I feel that was like a wrong, like, you know, Takagi did not realize that. Takagi thought like, oh, if I act like this, he'll think, like, you know, that's kind of cute. But I feel like Nishikata preferred her original personality, obviously, because, you know, like, he, like, he, he hangs out with her. He's always like, you know, with uh, accustomed to her, like, you know, just that type of personality, that confident, that teasing personality. So if he suddenly starts acting like this, he, he will get confused and he will not be comfortable with that. But yeah, nothing like, you know, went in that direction. And then it's the, like, you know, the, the, the things the Christmas trees lit up. It's Christmas and Nishikata hands over a gift. Takagi. Takagi opens the gift. It's mittens or gloves, I think. Yeah, not mittens. Gloves, sorry. <laughs> or, yeah, I think you call them mittens, don't you? Yeah. Um, and 
like interesting like you know Tahagi, so that means Nishikata always saw like you know I, I kind of remember she always kind of blew into her hand most of the time so because of that he gave him the mittens <laughs> and Nishikata probably realized like yeah not Nishikata sorry Tahagi probably realized that yeah he was he is observing me <laughs> okay and Takagi then gives him his gift which is the muffler that she was knitting so turns out it was not the dog's muffler that she was knitting but i guess if maybe he made she made some some other muffler maybe that was the dog's muffler that she was knitting yeah alongside that she may probably probably also made nishikata's one and uh, yeah he gives it to him and that was like a nice moment as, as i said this was like the most character development that they've ever had um the one episode was that the whole movie episode now this episode uh, not movie sorry the drama episode in the school and now this episode this movie episode um yeah and it was nice like you know like the, the snow is falling and everything and they come back home and we see how nishikata got the idea of sending the guard he saw it in a sh you know like it's been displayed where it was written like give you know greetings card to your loved ones or something like that and that's why he actually wrote it to her yeah they go on their own way that's how it ends and in the ending credit scene we kind of see both of them have the cards with them like we already saw nishikata's one nishikata's is written like thanks for everything uh yeah, thanks for everything today from Nishikata. While Takagi's one is written is what is written? Um Okay, dear Nishikata, thanks for another fun year from Takagi. Okay, there you go. And we can see like you know the, the like the, the the dolls, the figurines that they have on their desks. Uh -huh. Yeah yeah that's how it ends like a really good episode and just how i expected it to be i knew this was probably going to be the movie episode and there you go but i was not expecting the whole boat thing that's kind of came out of the blue and i'm like damn like that <laughs> like you know that I, I was more surprised that that yeah they were even allowed to go alone <laughs> but yeah anyways so yeah that's how it ends and fantastic as i said i'm guessing the next episode will probably be the new year episode or something like that and we might get to see a shrine like you know episode those like you know visiting the visiting the shrine episodes and like you know wishing each other happy new year like that kind of episode we might get and yeah i'm looking forward to that so yeah so that's it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to uh teasing master targets on season three episode number Nine. so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of teasing master takagi-san so until then goodbye and have a nice day